Welcome to the Movie Reviewers 100. This week's theme is Clint Eastwood, and everybody's been kind of choosing stuff, you know, that he's uh, directed, and he's an awesome director, but also he was a badass actor. And uh, some of the first things that he was in back in the 60s was the Dollars Trilogy, which is some badass spaghetti western um, shoot 'em up, you know, Sergio Leone, just badass. Um, so the one that everybody knows and is is good, the bad, and the ugly. Everybody knows the theme to this. It's it's a it's a great film, but it's part of the trilogy. So the first one was Fistful of Dollars, which is great. Also, then we have for a few dollars more, and we have Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. But the one I'm going to focus on is for a few dollars more. It's probably, out of all of them, out of the three, this has got to be my favorite. It's, um, it's badass. It's, it actually, a pro, it's probably biased because the reason I love this movie so much is because it's about El Paso Bank. And I live in El Paso, but it's just, so it's, it's fucking cool watching Clint Eastwood shoot him up with, with everybody, and and it's all about like the El Paso Bank, and so that's so cool. That's what I think. This is one of the reasons I want to be a filmmaker, is just because of the history that El Paso has with you know movie and and all that stuff. But for a few dollars more, so uh, obviously it's about this uh, the man with no name. This is a it's either called the man with no name trilogy. But it's really just called the Dollars Trilogy. Um, and he's like a bounty hunter. And he's a... Uh, it's been a while since I've seen this one. But I believe it's about... Um, you know, he's out looking for a bounty. And it's during the Civil War. And um, Lee Van Cleef. Lee Van Cleef uh, plays kind of like the enemy. And then there's also a guy by... Um, Wow, it's been such a long time since I've seen these. I cannot remember their names. I'm so sorry. And I'm doing this like last minute because it's been such a hectic day. I have to get stuff done. But, um, okay, so basically it's these guys who who decide to uh, rob this bank. It's a gang. And, um, and also everyone else has their own agenda. And the way it all comes about at the end is crazy. Um... Just the cinematography alone was amazing. Sergio Leone really knew what he wanted, and he portrayed that in this film. You know, there's a scene where they're walking, like they're they're counting the steps to see how many steps it takes to get from the door of the bank to the side of the bank, and there's just a guy in front of the of the screen smoking a cigarette counting the, the stuff it's just perfectly planned everything is so surreal in a way but one of my favorite films I'm sorry it I'm so hard to review this film just because it's been so long since I've seen it but I just it's my favorite for sure it's good the bad and the ugly is my second favorite but this one this one is just badass it, it, it uh it's just it's really really good so uh check it out if you have never seen these films I'm shocked. There's a lot of people who've never seen these old spaghetti westerns because a lot of people like, oh, they're old and whatever. But badass movies. Go check it out if you haven't seen them. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye.